But uh, you know, this is this is a special day, and it's getting more and more down through the years that it's it's not as special as it used to be. Mm -hmm. That's right, brother, yeah, brother David. I, yes, you know, we take take and go back during during our mother's times and and uh, our grand or especially our grandmother's time and everything. It was really uh, a, a big thing. To take to take and worship our, our mothers and everything and for what they've done for us. Some churches would even have big meals out out uh, outside on, on tables and everything just, just for the mothers and the men. And some churches the men would would do the cooking and everything and serving to the women. Amen. And everything. But, uh, those, those days are those days are gone. Man, the man still <laughs> looking for the women to serve. Have that back in. Amen. But uh, uh, anything. Anyway, uh, I, I picked out three three different women here here in the Bible uh, that I thought were, was significant enough to to talk talk about. Because the Lord visited all three yes. of, of these, these ladies and her thing, and how uh, 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 should I say, young young women, uh, one one old old woman, uh, take a turn to Genesis 21st, 21st chapter, it's the first one, and you already know who I want to talk about. Yes, sir. All right, the 21st. We're going to talk about Sarah. We you heard just a little bit. Yeah. Yep. And everything. Sarah was a very, very unique in, in, individual. Uh, she went through a lot of, lot of hardships, a lot of things that, that uh, even women today still go through. That, that they go, they go through, through their, their course. Their, ch their child life, and then they get into the, the womanhood and everything, and then they find out that they can't have no children. Yeah. And uh, I, I know for a fact that the doctors today, you can't believe what word they say. I don't know how many women uh, I've, I've met down through the years. The doctor told them they couldn't have no children. First thing they knew, they were pregnant. Mm -hmm. And then they were having another one. <laughs> Amen. You know, they go show the date. They didn't know what they were talking about. The, the, only, the only one that knows who's going to have who's going to have the child and who isn't is the good Lord. Amen. That's it. Right, and everything in in, uh, in in this day and age we're living in, uh, we have a lot of children that that's in homes because the parents, the mother doesn't want. Want the child or the father, either one, wants the child, and they put them up for adoption, and, and it's so much red tape, they have a hard time uh, uh, taking getting that getting that child and everything. I, I've got my wife's got a got a cousin that that uh, that took and adopted an Israeli uh, little girl. And her thing, and she's she's grown and everything, and you could tell she's a Jew. You can tell by by, yes. by the color of her skin and her thing, and her face features and her thing. But guess what? They love that that little girl just like mm -hmm. like uh, she has had the child herself. Yeah. And that's the way we all, each and every one of us, mm -hmm. not not just because they're our children, the other people's children. We ought to love every, every child that is Amen. and everything and, and treat them right, even though they've got some of them got parents that doesn't treat them right. But uh, here in the 21st chapter, it says, And the Lord visited Sarah, and as he had said, and, and the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. For Sarah conceived and bear Abraham a son uh, in his old age at, at the time of what uh, God had spoken uh, to him. And Abraham uh, called the name 
of his son that were born unto him, and to Sarah that uh, bare him uh, uh, to him uh, Isaac. Back back during this time, and it, and it still so to a, to a point and everything. Whenever whenever there was a man child born uh, in the family, they usually if if the father didn't give the give the child his name uh, and everything, he would he would give that child a name of somebody in the family because that was their, their tradition to keep certain names in, 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 you know, in, in the family. Like, like with my grandson uh, uh, down in Arkansas and everything, there are so many gems in their family that it's hard for them to keep up with them all. <laughs> I, I know they probably got about 10 gems in, in, in the family, <laughs> but they got, they got a different middle name. How you doing, Jim? How you doing, Jim? I haven't seen you for a long time. <laughs> and everything. But one thing that that, that, that that beats all is regardless of what the father calls calls the child, what name the mother loves that child with all, with all of her heart. Mm -hmm. uh, look, look at Sarah. She, she gave her handmaid to, to her husband because she believed that she couldn't have a child. And she was 80 years old. Can you imagine an 80 year old woman ha having a child at 80 years old? Mm -hmm. uh, man, that, that, uh, uh, that, that's uh, way beyond my comprehension. And I think so we, we don't live back during those times. They, uh -huh. they lived a little bit longer than what, than what we did mm -hmm. and everything. And, uh, so, so Sarah, Sarah was uh, uh, very, very unique individual because she was the also she was the mother of, of all nations. You know, God said to, to Abraham, they made him the father mm -hmm. of, all, of all nations. Yes. Mm -hmm. But she was the mother of all nations. Amen. Just like, just like I told my wife, I said with with. Uh, pastors, wives in the church and everything. I said, we always call them uh, uh, the mother of the church. Mother of the church. So I said to her as mother of the church. I think she didn't border, but she's our mother in the church. Amen. You know, <laughs> and uh, everything. And uh, also, uh, turn over here to St. Luke. Uh, I don't know. Well, Oh, okay. Uh, I want to uh, read here just a little bit here of St. Luke, uh, the first chapter, uh, starting the, the 57th verse. It says, Now Elizabeth, a uh, full time came that she should deliver, and she brought forth a son, and her neighbors. And, and, and her cousins heard how the Lord had showed great mercy upon her, and they received and they rejoiced with her. This is one another reason why I, I picked her is, is because of the fact that it says here the Lord had showed great mercy. Amen. Upon Amen. Upon her. Yes. Each and every one of our mothers. I ought to thank God that they're able to, those that are able to, to, to have children. Uh, I know my, my, my oldest sister and everything, she, she don't care that much for little children, but she, you know, she's all right with the, with the older ones. And uh, uh, she had all her, she had five children all together. One was, was born dead. She had all of her children at home natural, mm. you know, and, and, and it amazed me back uh, over a hundred years ago and everything when the Indians, Indians traveling and everything, the, the Indian uh, mothers and everything, when they give birth, they get off the horse, they go out in the woods, have the baby, 
wrap the baby up and get back on the horse and keep on traveling. Mm -hmm. And can you see see a mother doing that today? Mm -hmm. Oh, you got you got to have two weeks rest. No, <laughs> and, and and things things like that. But you know, God, God knows everything. He knows how to handle handle each and every situation. Mm -hmm. uh, there and it goes on. It says, and it, and it came to pass that on the eighth day uh, they came to circumcise the the child. And they called him Zacharias after the name of his father. And his mother answered and said, Not so, but he shall be called John. Who is it, who is it talking about? He was John the Baptist. Amen. He became a special child, just Amen. like Isaac did. John, John becomes special and everything. And, uh, uh, he was the forerunner of Jesus Christ. Yes. He was put here for a purpose. Each and every one of us, I, I don't care what kind of job you hold, you hold down, whether you're, you're a ditch ditcher or whatever, whatever it is. And I've dug ditches in my life with pick and shovel, and it's not, it's not no uh, easy, easy job. Amen. I, I worked on 66 one time there for for a little while, and, and uh, some of the ditches that was dug was dug by hand, mm -hmm. and, that, and that wasn't no easy job. Amen. Early, David. I know and it. That, that, that's hard, hard work and everything. And I wasn't all that old. I had, I had, like I said once before, I had a little bit of muscle up here <laughs> uh, then and everything. But uh, I don't think I could do it anymore. I might be able to take a go for a little bit, but that that would be the the end of it, but uh, and but it goes on and says, uh, we shall call his name John, and they said unto him, there, there is none of the kindred that is called by this name. Uh, and they made signs uh, to his father how he could have him called. And he answered, for it is written, uh, it, for, for a writing table and wrote, saying, his name is John. And they marveled all. See, the Lord had even dealt, dealt uh, with Zacharias of what John's name was going to be mm -hmm. because the word you know, John was going to be a special individual. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now over here with uh, with uh, uh, with Mary, find exactly where I want to be at here. Uh, everything. Now I'll just start here at the seventh ch chapter of, of Luke. Uh, I'll start here uh, with the sixth sixth verse, and so as it as it. it so and so it was that while they uh, were there the days uh, were accomplished that she should be delivered and she brought forth her first uh, born son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in the manger because there was no room uh, uh, for them in, in the end. I want to turn over, turn over to this to the second chapter, the twenty-fourth verse, and this is Simeon uh, talking. And I remember years ago, I, I, I uh, at uh, Skyline Terrace, uh, the. Uh, Campground used to take and go up there, up there, uh, up over there to uh, Mount Olive. Used to go to that nursing home up there and everything. I don't know what happened down through the years, but they don't make too many trips there anymore. But I played the part of Simeon, and, mm -hmm. and it blessed me playing that that part. And if you if you read there just before this part. And everything the Lord 
had told Simeon that that he wouldn't see death until mm -hmm. he'd seen the Christ child. Yes. So it says here in the 29th verse, and says, Lord, now let us thou uh, thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For my eyes have seen the salvation, seen thy salvation which thou hast prepared before the face of all people. All people. This is where we where we get our salvation, praise Amen. God. Amen. Amen. Through, through, through the Lord Jesus Christ, through, through Mary. You know, Mary had Mary must have had to be a very special, uh, very special. individual young young lady. Mm -hmm. I don't think she was really all that old when she married wound up marrying Joseph. Mm -hmm. But but anyway before that she was a very young young lady and she must she had to spend time in the synagogue praying and seeking God uh, for everything that she ever done. And that's why she said, uh, ask, ask the Lord, you know, how am I going to have a child not knowing a man? Mm -hmm. That's right. Well, it wasn't in the Lord's will that she know a man because God needed one person to be perfect. That's it. And that was, that was Jesus Christ. Yes. And the only way that he could take and do that was to pick Mary mm -hmm. because she must, she, must, she must have been a very perfect child. A uh, person of all the women, brother David, yeah. amen. In, in, in all ways and everything, it must not have been no sin in her life, mm -hmm. that's right, or anything for, for God to take and, and, and uh, pick her. You know, uh, as children as being, being born to, to a woman, we don't have a choice of who we would, who would get uh, born to and everything, and uh, who our parents are going to be. We leave that up, leave that up to the Lord mm -hmm. and everything. Uh, Amen. Because uh, uh, I've met people down through the, through the years. I said, I'm glad I'm not their son. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, I hear you. But you know, we can't mistreat our children, or the mother can't mistreat her children over the husband. Those children, those children to the mother, those children come before before. That, that husband, uh, if they're going to mistreat them and everything, they have no business being a mother. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I've seen it. I've had aunts that mistreated their treat, mistreated their children. I, I saw a man one time, and, and I almost felt like walking across the street and popping him in the nose, but but I didn't do it uh, and everything. His son just stripped down off the curb a little bit instead of him just grabbing hold of his arm and pulling back up on on the curb. He took his knuckle and he come right down on top of that child's oh, head oh my. With, with the knuckles, you know. Uh, and uh, God doesn't attend on the, the mothers and the fathers to take and mistreat their, treat their, their children uh, and everything. But these three, three ladies here are very special. Uh, you know, in, in, in the Bible, I think above a lot of the others, you know, we've got other ones in the Bible, like Ruth and her family was a very special, yes. special lady yes. and everything. But I picked these, these three out. I didn't know exactly who to pick out, and I thought, thought it was, was Sarah and her thing. And, and uh, they, they, they treated their son like gold. Mm -hmm. uh, e even though Abraham was going to sacrifice Isaac there at one time, take him up on a mountain sure did. and sacrifice him, but the Lord, the Lord stopped. Mm -hmm. You know, isn't it, isn't it, isn't it, isn't it something how the Lord, when we go to do something that's wrong, that the, the Lord, the Lord has taken stop, stop us from doing it. Amen. And, and the Lord did there because Isaac himself. Had, had a special reason. He had a special lady, little lady that he wanted to marry. Just like you, David, you had one of those special little lady you wanted to marry. And, and everything. And each one of those ladies, each one of them had a special, a, a special 
thing to take and do that, that had to do with the Lord and serving God Amen. and bringing forth the children for, for the men that, that, that God picked to be leaders. Yes. Yes. Everything. Yes, sir. Even, even though some of the men uh, messed up and everything, uh, I, I had to correct my wife on. Uh, she was, she had these movies, these uh, DVDs about Christ on there, and she wanted me to watch them. Well, when she got them, the place was going out of business, and he just, just I just wrapped these four, four programs up, you know, with a piece of tape. But he forgot to unlock them so you could get in to them to get the, get the, belt, the DVD out of them. Mm -hmm. but we had a terrible time getting that one out. And I watched that thing and I told my wife, I said, that's not according to the Bible. Mm -hmm. Watched it a little bit. I said, that's not according to the Bible. Mm -hmm. You know, they added some things in there that, that, that should, shouldn't have been uh, and everything. But uh, that's why we need to take a know our Bible. Amen. You know, Amen. In, inside and out. And uh, sometimes we get neglected on, on reading our Bible and finding out exactly what God has in store for us. And each and every, every mother that's in the Bible has had a special calling from God. Amen. To take and, and present his, his word to bring forth a special child or to to present a special message uh, to to help like Annas in, in, in the Bible and everything. She was a prophetess and everything. She had she she had been uh, her husband died and she she'd been uh, without a husband for years but she chose to live to live in the temple. And she became a prophecy, mm -hmm. and she knew that one when Jesus was born, that that Jesus was a special, yes. was a special child. Amen. She had her special place in, uh, in this world, world. You know what? When it comes to, to Jesus' birth and everything, and uh, I, I don't know too much more what what to say, uh, Brother David, but but that I admire each and every mother that takes and has a child, not just have the child, but to treat that child like that child is something, something special. Yes. yes. Because it ought to be in every, every mother's uh, uh, heart that that child, uh, you know, is special. I'm, I'm going to say this, maybe I shouldn't say this, but this is about my, my youngest daughter. My youngest daughter was a very hard child to bring up. She was, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I want to say hard-headed. She looked down on one of you said it either. <laughs> but but she, she, uh, she, she was a, 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 a very hard child raised. Everything. She was found and determined that she was going to have things her way or not at all, you know. And but then through the years she straightened herself up and everything. But uh, she 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 married she married a guy that was already in jail. That didn't work out. But uh, she had at the time she had two boys and this. She went to live with this guy, and he wanted her to take and give up her two boys so they could be together. And she told him that. Mm -hmm. She said, "My boys come first. Yes, and amen. That's the way. It, that's, that's the way. way it to be. Be. Yes, the children ought to come first. Before, amen. Yes. Before anybody, mm -hmm. and that's even with the father. Yes, I'm gonna say that about the father. Your children and your wife come first in, in your life, in, in our more more life." Now in our spiritual life, now God comes first. That's it. Jesus Christ. God, God comes first. Yes. And everything. And when God wants us to take and do something, we we, we need to take and do it. Uh, uh, Amen. Well, I know. I I don't always do the things the way the Lord wants me to, and I always have to ask the Lord to forgive me for what I'm doing. Sometimes I lose my 
my temper and I'll catch myself uh, and I'll, I'll call myself a name. I'll uh, say, you big dummy. <laughs> There's some, something Praise like the Lord. that in there. I'll, I'll, I'll put myself down and I'll say, Lord, forgive me this big dummy done messed up again. <laughs> and everything. But these three ladies, I want you to remember these, especially these three ladies, especially Mary, that brought forth for Jesus as, 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 as our Savior and everything. And I had, I had a poem that I wanted to read to end, to end my, my talk. And I, uh, I was in such a hurry, Brother David, I walked out of the house without my Bible. I had done that many times. Mm -hmm. you know, and here come my wife running out, she had my Bible. With me. But the only thing she didn't she didn't bring with her, she didn't bring the book, and, and the book was with the Bible. She didn't bring the book out with the poem. Mm -hmm. So, so I come on to church, but, and I didn't realize it until I got way down the road. Mm -hmm. I said, "Oh man!" I said, "I said I didn't get that book with that poem, man." And it was, it was a real nice uh, uh, poem for mothers, but. Uh, I, I look back at, at my mother and, and a lot of other other older women that I've known down through the years that was so special uh, in, in my life. Uh, like my stepfather, even though my stepfather didn't want to recognize God at all, I think he preferred alcohol than he did did uh, uh, anything else. His mother was one of the sweetest ladies, and she was a Methodist lady too, like my mother's mother was, and everything. And and they believed in the old time way. You didn't you didn't see them, uh, you know, uh, wearing men's clothes at all. Everything they wore, wore women's clothes, mm -hmm. and everything all the time. You, and you know how they wore them back then. They they were some of them really the dresses were cleaned down down to the feet and sometimes the dresses even drug the drug the floor. Amen. And, and uh, <laughs> I've, I've had people take and tell me said said uh, they see a, see an elderly lady up on the ladder doing something to the house when she when she shouldn't have been up on the ladder to start with because of her age and everything. They said, well they ought to take and put something on to cover herself up. So that, that's cold on them because they got that dress on. Well, put a long enough dress on to keep the legs warm. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. So, you know, and uh, uh, that's just that's just the, the way they was. The old the old time Methodists, you know, they believed in God. Yes. I can't say much for them now uh, and everything, but but a lot a lot of our, our churches today. Well, I'll say. Well, uh, I've said this before and I'll say it again. Now, that's including uh, uh, the apostolic faith and thing. All the denominations have backslid in one way, shape, or form. Yes. It's only individuals that's going to take and make it into heaven, those that are, are living according, according, according to the, this yeah. world. Yes. It's not formed by the denomination. There's not going to be no apostolic, there ain't going to be no Baptist, there ain't going to be no Methodist, you know, or, or, or Catholics up in heaven, only those that are washed in the blood of, of the Lamb yes. and know Him as the person of Satan. Amen. Amen. And everything. And we got all of that to thank of, of our mothers that were, that were sitting here today. That's it. We, we've got to thank our mother mm -hmm. for it. If it wasn't for my mother, I would have never been born, so I would thank her mm -hmm. for me being born mm -hmm. and uh, meeting certain, certain people. I won't mention, mention names. <laughs> uh, got, got to meet Junior there and everything. And uh, got to meet David and his family. A lot of his family has died off since I met him. Yeah. And everything. Ones I used to come all, all, all the way to Bentonville, pick them up, go all the way back to Front Row, go back across the mountain, 
Good. He'll go over on the church there over in Rag Mountain over and, and have, have a good old time. And, and I remember I was young enough that God took and gave me enough strength that even when we had revival, would have week revival, I picked his, I picked his family up every night and took them over across, across the mountain to have revival. Even when I worked shift for everything, I'd, I'd take, pick them up everything. And uh, I appreciate, I appreciate David. I guess because I've known him so long. <laughs> Maybe not so much all of his character down through the years. He's got a great character now. <laughs> Because he give his heart, he give his heart to the Lord. Mm -hmm. I backslid, and he give his heart to the Lord. <laughs> I know another young fellow preached to me, tried to get me to come back to church. I come back to church, and he backslid. <laughs> <laughs> so that that's just the way the way it tur turned out. Seemed like it, yeah. And everything we did, we just never know. But you know, God knows. Each and every one of us knows our heart, and He knows who's going to make it. He knows who's going to make it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. yes. Turn it back over to you. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Good night. I'm not going to get down in it. Just, I'm just going to say a couple things. We're going to close. The mother is somebody that we got to really think about and lift up. Like say Jesus, of all the women in the world. God shows her special to have who? Our Lord and Savior. Yes. One good thing about it, you know, my mom, you know, years ago, mom loved the children so much. You know, we go over to the neighbor's house and we come back home crying or something, you know. She was the type of mother, she would go next door and ask her, what, what went on here? Why, why is mine? Why is he crying? What, what, what are you doing to him? And, but they were always working out. A good mother will work with a good mother. Mm -hmm. We didn't, you know, like today, you know, it's the first thing they do is uh, get the law involved. But you know, back in, the, uh, in my mother's day, my, in my daddy's day, Brother Earl, all the thing went their way, you know, because mm -hmm. they, they, didn't, they didn't get the law involved in all things. Mm -hmm. But families worked the things out between the children back in their day. Yeah. They loved one another and they worked it out. Yeah. And that's the main thing, is working it out. But Earl, that was a good, that was a good match. If you couldn't pick three better women than, than that, I would have preached. I would have preached on my part the same thing. They didn't get in way, and somebody kept on getting in way. They just took a gun and shot. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 anyway, uh, praise the Lord. We're gonna we're gonna close out here this afternoon. Anybody got anything we need to hear before we go? Uh, praise the Lord.